Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. The next nightcap, I make some nuts for a friend of mine, uh, an odd ball size nut, a little bit of repetition work in the lathe, and I also make a brass tea piece for some quarter copper pipe, a little bit of file work, some silver soldering, and a little bit of machining work. In part two, I'm going to put some more of the Harker steam engine rebuild on. That seems to be having, well, it has got really good views. People seem very interested in that. This is Nightcap 499, so obviously next week is going to be Nightcap 500. I've had a few suggestions from people what I think I should do for me 500th Nightcap. One or two not so pleasant, but most are pretty good. And a lot of people say, could they ask us a question and would I answer it? Well, my daughter is coming down next weekend, um, and she seems to get quite a lot of views, and she's quite happy to sit and sort of interview me. So if you want to ask us a question, all you need to do is comment on this video and all you've got to put is question, write the word question and then type a question and my computer will pick out all those questions um, without me having to go trolling through them all and I'll do my best to answer them, uh, anything you want, but not religion, not politics. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a nice little video. It's a rule I don't do production work once I'm here to, to with something I get kind of bored with it. But as a friend of mine asked us to make him some strange nuts, actually, that's half inch hexi bar and he wants a quarter UNC thread putting in there. Uh, it's a nut he can't buy, it's, it's off one of his tractors. So he supplied the material and he wants as many as I can get out of there, or at least until I get, until I get bored. Now, the way I've set this up is I've got two tools and hopefully I can do. All the operations with just two tools, and of course there'll be a drill and a tap involved as well. So the first operation will be to square the end of the bar up. I'm going to use that tool for it. And then I need to put a chamfer on to make it not look pretty. That'll put the chamfer on. And then a part and tool to chop them off. And we should be able to get along quite merrily. We'll fire the lathe up, square it up. And I'll drill and tap the length of it and then we can chop them off and... See how we get on. The lathe's cool, so I'm just going to give it a few moments to get the oil through along the headstock a little bit before we start to speed things up. And that. Tool wants to come up very slightly. I'm going to move the tool into the tool hold a little bit further stick out as always in this you want layers you want as little stick out as possible the things doing flex this is quite a robust setup but it still does flex much better And the chamfer on the nut a little bit more than that. That looks good. We need to centre drill it. With a tap and drill. A quarter here would say is 5.1. I haven't got a 5.1 mil drill, but I'm sure a 5 mil drill will do if I'm careful. Machine top designed to do this exact operation. Slow things down a bit. It's better.
it, so it's probably enough. Threading there to get at least two nuts to change that tool for a parting tool. He wants 220 thou of nut, so we'll measure the parting blade first. So if I touch off on that face, she will do our over and go back for 7.5 mil. That'll give us the thickness of nut that the lad wants. So that's the first one. So 7.5 again. to get eight nuts out of that bit of bar. There's a couple inches left so I'm going to keep that. I'm sure I'll be very happy with them. I need to ragging but he can do with that. A friend of mine asked us if I can make him a tea piece to join some quarter inch copper pipe. He wants a soft solar of it. So I'm going to make a tea piece out of this piece of brass, silver solar together and then he'll be able to put his soft solar in after that. Quite a simple little job, a little bit of machining, a little bit of filing and then some silver soldering and do enjoy a little bit of silver soldering. We might get away with leaving that, depends what that cleans up at for the outside diameter. Warm things up a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
collar chuck, I suppose, and put the half round piece in using the milling cutter. But honestly, it's just as quick to fail it. If I had a short fail, it would be even quicker. That's terrible, that. Ideally, you want to fail the same diameter as that, and then you're going to get the hole absolutely spot on. I'm going to have another look at me. Fails raw. I don't fail raw, it's not a little bit bleak. That's a better one. I found a bit of tube or a bit of bar the right size and just some cautious every tape on there will finish it off quite nicely. One of the decent fit ups just forms a nice shoulder joint. That's pretty good. I'll sew like that and then drill the hole in last to throw hole in last. Then it means it can't need anything else but lined up properly. Which that's the way I normally deal with them. Quite often the hardest thing about this job like this is actually holding it together. You can tie more wire, little clamps, all kinds. But I use this, it's what's called a third hand. It's actually got a little bronze tip on there. I use it for TIG welding. It's just a just a ball, actually just a little weight, like a little it's exactly what it is. And you can line it up and that will keep that exactly how you want it. It doesn't let go, you can't burn its fingers. And that to me looks pretty good. I've got some sort of a solder flux, easy flow flux. I've got some silver solder. We'll put some heat on and still get a nice sort of silver solder joint around there. And then the last thing is to drill the hole. The heat source I'm using is oxypropane. This would take a great amount of heat. I think I'll turn the light out and we might get a better. No, I'll leave it on. I thought we'd get a better finish with the light off if something's do. And just warm the end of the shoulder and dip it in the trucks. It's a fire break it's sitting on. A little bit of straw length of the end of the joint. I'm going to look for a, a real dull red colour before the shoulder runs. If I get ready near now, I'm going to have to stir that in. Right, all the way around. A little bit of reinforcing on, but it doesn't really need any more. Right, I can guarantee that will be, well, nothing's guaranteed really, is it? But it'll not leak. Right, that's cleaned up quite nicely. In the silver soil, that is a good colour match for the brass. So now just that one hole to drill, and that's his tape he's done. Like I say, he's going to soft sew the oil pipes into there. So obviously the soft sew then won't affect the, the hard silver solar that we put onto there. Right, so now we've got a, a nice equal tea. I'm just going to put a little counter sink in there so it holds a little bit more solder. Of course I'm going to use the Dajo drill, one of my favourite tools now, I use it all the time and I really, I really do enjoy using it. Um, it's some of the both tools that have been handed down 
and my dad building model aeroplanes and I'll have been 10 year old and he was using this exactly same drill so it is really a cordless drill isn't it? it's only a cord the original cordless drill Stanley England this one you see England wrote on things because well, that's when we used to care that'll polish up nice on the buffing wheel I'll put a test on it but honestly it's not gonna not gonna leak it's only lubricating now there's no real pressure on it